Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make fresh berry chantilly cake. This is a vanilla cake layered with fresh berries and finished off with a cream cheese mascarpone chantilly cream and it is absolutely to die for. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, lightly grease two nine inch cake rounds and line the bottom with parchment paper. For the vanilla cake, you'll need one cup of softened unsalted butter. Add in one and a half cups of granulated sugar and cream this together. When you first start mixing, even after a whole minute, it'll still be lumpy like this. But if you keep mixing after about 90 seconds to two minutes, you'll see that it all comes together and is nice and creamy. Set that aside for a second and we're gonna put together our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients separately. You'll need one and a quarter cup of whole milk and you want this to be at least room temperature. You can warm it up in the microwave just a little bit. You just don't want this to be cold. Same thing with your three eggs. You want them to be at room temperature as well. To that, add a quarter cup of vegetable oil and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then you'll take a fork, and whisk everything together and break up those yolks. I just do this all in my two cup liquid measuring cup because it all fits and it's super convenient. For the dry ingredients, you'll need three and a half cups of cake flour. And then to that, you'll add in four teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt and give this a quick stir to combine. Next, we're going to alternate adding in our dry and wet ingredients in with our butter and sugar mixture. I'm going to sift my dry ingredients in because it produces a better texture on the cake, but if you don't have anything to sift your dry ingredients, just go with what you've got. First, you're gonna add in about a third of your dry ingredients, and I'll just sift that in real quick. Then, we'll give this a mix to combine. Once that's mixed in, we'll add in half, about half of our liquid ingredients, and mix that in until combined. Once that's combined, We'll add in another third of our dry ingredients, and I'm sifting that today. Then mix that in. The rest of our liquid ingredients, mix that in. Last, you guessed it, the remainder of our dry ingredients. We'll mix this in until just combined. Be sure to stop and scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl so that everything gets mixed in. Then divide the batter as evenly as you can between the two prepared cake pans. Then I spread the batter out to make sure it reaches the edges of the pan. Then we're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Now once the cakes are done baking, you'll want to transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Next, we're gonna make our Chantilly cream. It starts with two cups of heavy cream, and to that we'll add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then we're gonna whip this with a hand mixer until stiff peaks form and we have a nice vanilla whipped cream. Now, once you've got nice stiff peaks, you can set this aside, and then in another mixing bowl, you'll need eight ounces of softened cream cheese, and then eight ounces of mascarpone, cheese. Then we'll use the hand mixer again to cream this together until light and fluffy. After a good two minutes of mixing, you'll be ready to add in two cups of powdered sugar. And then we're gonna beat this in until it's nice and smooth. Once again, you'll want to be sure to stop and scrape the sides and bottom of your bowl so everything gets mixed in. You should end up with a nice, smooth, creamy mixture. Then we're gonna add in our vanilla whipped cream mixture, and then we'll gently fold this in until it's combined. Be gentle and go slowly, you don't want to ruin all of that air that you've beat into your cream cheese as well as your whipped cream. So just keep folding until there are no large streaks. Then you'll transfer this all to a piping bag and refrigerate until you're ready to assemble your cake. For the berry filling, you'll need about four cups of fresh berries and you can use any mix you want. Today I'm using sliced strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Then we're going to add in the zest of one lemon, which will be about two teaspoons. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of lemon juice from that lemon and toss this together. Then you'll need two thirds a cup of seedless strawberry or raspberry jam and you're gonna add a quarter cup of water to that. We'll give this a little stir to combine. Then we'll pop this in the microwave until melted, which will take about 30 seconds. 
The mixture should be smooth and completely melted. At this point, we should have everything we need to assemble our cake. We're gonna slice each of our cakes in half so that we end up with four layers total. Now, it's not required, but you can slice off those brown edges to make it prettier. Then you can also level off your tops if you want and then slice in half. And then we can start assembling our cake. So we'll put one layer on the bottom, then we're gonna drizzle on some of that raspberry goodness. Then we'll add on a layer of our Chantilly cream. Then we'll add on a single layer of berries and you'll want to spread those out a little bit. And then we'll keep on layering this up until we have all four layers. So there'll be three layers of cream and berries. Once you have those three layers, you'll add on the final fourth layer and then we can frost the whole thing. And then of course you can decorate it however you'd like. And then you can finish it off with some berries and I like to use fresh berries so that they're nice and dry. Fresh berries meaning not the berries that you added the lemon zest and lemon juice to. But that's it, this cake is ready to eat. I'm gonna store it in the fridge. It is best consumed within 48 hours. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.